Hello and welcome to a quick look of pretty much uh, the, well, the Batman figure and the packaging um, what you get inside of the uh, LEGO DC Super Heroes original movie Justice League versus Bizarro League uh, Here's the top of the box The bottom is just blank nope. Side of the box And other side is completely identical And here's the back Ooh. Focus there we go. So on the back it says uh, special features. You get uh, the main uh, movie, of course. You also have uh, Lego DC Super Heroes Batman B League or B League TV special. So that was aired a while ago on Cartoon Network. Uh, me and Bizarro, the League of Opposites, B League bloopers. And that's it. That's really not a lot of content for this uh, Blu ray or DVD, whatever you, you know, the version that you get. Uh, if you don't want the figure, I think uh, you have to get the Blu-ray version for the figure. There's also the uh, digital HD with ultraviolet. And remember, if you claim the ultraviolet thing, it doesn't... it expires, so... And I'm going to open the box on the bottom because that's where you access the minifigure. Look, there's a little flap down here and you'll be like, haha, get the little figure out. Yoink! A uh, quick look at the DVD case and stuff inside. The rest of the box. The box feels pretty smooth and okay, but uh, you can see it's already starting to peel here because you know it's cardboard, so it breaks. By the way, mine came with this bit sort of ripped. That's what I expect from a bootleg, not from Warner Brothers. And uh, the whole the inlay is slightly warped because of that, so I had to unbend it. Uh, inside, of course, you have the ultraviolet code, which um, on, this, on this sheet right here. So, and uh, on the other side, is promoting some of the new sets, which I've all I've reviewed all of them. So, if you're interested in them, you can take a look on my YouTube channel. So, so this uh, kids go free Legoland token, Legoland park. So, doesn't matter where. Legoland, Legoland, uh, full price out ticket for Legoland California, Florida, or Discovery Center, so all of the uh, USA ones. Of course, I have no use for this. So, purchase now, blah blah blah, using promo code 15. Okay, so I don't know if this is a unique code or not, but I'm not going to use it anyway, so whoever uses it. So, use the promo code F159907 or bring any Legoland. Bring to any Lego Land ticket booth, so uh, I'm pretty sure it's not unique code. I think we can just bring that to Lego this sheet, Lego Land, or order online with that thing. Inside got disc, of course. Um, funny how the Blu ray is the black printed one and the DVD is the blue printed one. You'd think they swapped them around, but uh, this is like the cheapest way of them to print a disc without using full color or anything. I mean, it's okay, but again, it's a Blu ray disc. It feels a bit cheap that they don't print it properly. Uh, then again, I hope it's a bit cheap anyway that it's been produced. Um, uh, even DVD, the Blu ray case as well, but I don't mind it too much. These sort of recycle symbols that they put in there to save on plastic, that's fine, I guess. And also, uh, this is the thinnest Blu ray I've ever uh, seen. No, DVD. Um, so the Blu-ray is thin, so the DVD is quite thin, you can still see through, but you know, that's, I've seen that before, that's, that's quite common. So, uh, but, um, the, uh, by the way, I'm just going to mention that the code expires, the 2018, October the 2nd, that's when the ultraviolet code expires, which I think is stupid, when you have things like Netflix and stuff, where you have the movie that you can, You'd think they put that movie up there so that they'd be you know, reselling it online or whatever, but no. By the way, this is the other side of the case with uh, more missing plastic on the case. But yeah, uh, this disc is so thin. I mean, look at that. It's just like, whoa, whoa. Um, like, how much can I scratch? Like, Blu rays have an extra layer to, you know, uh, scratch protection, but I wonder how much I can scratch this before it doesn't play anymore because this is so thin. Like the layers, it just feels a bit unsafe to me. I don't, I don't like it. I like, you know, actual this where it feels like there's, there's an enough amount of plastic on top covering the whole thing. So, anyway, figure time. 
a little plastic, plastic thing like here, so um, which has tape of course, which I've already peeled open. I've looked at them once. There you go. Oh, another piece of tape there. I'm not going to bother. I'm going to keep it like that. So Batman, of course, has this uh, worn cape, of course. So, and because he's Bat Zero, uh, the Batman logo is upside down, and so is his belt. Same on the back as well. A standard Batman back print, just the belt upside down. The purple was pretty nice. It's pretty uh, unique. Uh, this purple coloring. The cape is not the soft capes we have now. It's a bit. It's not as hard as the old capes, but it's not as soft as the new one. Somewhere in between. But it feels like the old material of the old one. Also, I swear my Batman face right there is slightly off center, like it's printed just a tiny bit lower than what it should be. So, put it up, you have a zombie face underneath, of course, which uh, this face looks very similar to the uh, Bizarro head, just with the white thing on top. So, I wouldn't be surprised if they just took that head and changed it a little bit. Uh, the, the head on the back looks a lot better in the Batman and Carl. The front one just looks. Yeah, just, this isn't the first time a Batman head has been slightly misprinted. It's not so bad to the point where uh, things, you know, where, where, you know, it's, where there's a little black line in the eye holes, but it is very, uh, kind of annoying. Wouldn't be surprised this, if this figure was made in China, if it says anywhere in the box. Nope. Uh, no, it doesn't say. The box. the box only has the uh, Blu-ray information, this has no information on the figure, but uh, usually these promo figures are made in China, hence uh, the sudden boom of bootleg Lego, because, well, if Lego's going to be cheap on us, that's the consequences that they're going to do. They're going to start using Chinese factories, and some Chinese factories are going to start bootlegging them. Hey. So, apart from that minor annoyance, uh, the figure is very nice. If you like DC superheroes, then this is pretty much a must to pick up. Uh, because you know it's a very unique figure. The color, the color, and the head design is, is very unique. So it's a, it's a definite pickup for me. And seriously, people on eBay, look, there are people selling this figure on its own for twenty UK pounds or two hundred Hong Kong or or something like that. Uh, why seriously? Why are you only buying the figure for that amount when you can buy the Blu-rays or DVD with the figure for the same amount. This has happened before where someone buys a game with the Lego figure and they take the Lego figure out and then they sell that separately online and, and they're selling it for the same price as it is with the game. So why are there complete morons out there who buys just the figure when you can get the game as well? That just makes no sense. I mean, if you buy the figure and it's cheaper, then yeah, that makes sense, but no, that you, you didn't minus the cost of the game. So just, if you don't want the game, buy it with the game, and then you can maybe trade it in in one of the game stores, or then sell the game. You know, some people don't want the figure, they just want the game, so you sell that. Or if you buy, like I said, buy the figure, and it at least should be cheaper. But no, figure on its own is the same price as figure with game. It makes no sense, why are you buying it like that? It's so stupid. Um, yeah. Uh, a splinter would say idiots. So, <laughs> subscribe to just a comment below. And of course, take care and have a nice day. And of course, there'll be our do a little rotating showcase video on here. Bye bye.